Hello students and welcome to my channel MathSav. So today in this video, we will study how to solve simultaneous differential equations. Now, what are simultaneous differential equations? Let us understand this. So suppose you can see here two differential equations in x and y. So we have some function in d with x plus d1, some another function in d, y is equal to h1t. So these are non-homogeneous differential equations. And the second differential equations are f2 dx plus g2 dy is equal to h2 d. So what is the meaning of simultaneous? That means you are given two differential equations in x and y. And you need to solve it together to find out the values of x and y. So what is the methodology? From both the equations, either we will try to eliminate x or we will try to eliminate y. So if we are able to eliminate y from the two equations, then we will get a differential equation only in terms of x, right? And the, both the differential equations get reduced to one differential equation in x. And we can solve that differential equation. By now, we are known with all the methods to solve a second order differential equation. So we can solve it. And after we get one of the values of x, we can substitute it in any one of these equations to get the values of y, right? So let us see how do we solve these equations. So you are given this differential equation, dx by dt is equal to 3x plus 8y. And we have dy by dt is equal to minus x minus 3y. So first of all, we will, what we will do, you can see that the derivative operator here is d by dt. So we will replace it with capital D. So when you convert this into symbolic form, this is dx is equal to 3x plus 8y. And the second equation becomes dy is equal to minus x minus 3y. So let us take all the terms on one side. So when you take all the terms on one side, we will get dx minus 3x minus 8y is equal to 0. And you will get x plus dy plus 3y is equal to 0. So we can further write this equation as from the first two terms, you can take out x common. You will get d minus 3 into x minus 8y is equal to 0. And from the second equation, you can take out from the last two terms, you can take out y common. So you will get d plus 3 into y is equal to 0. So let us mark this equation 1 and let us mark this equation 2. Now how to solve it further? Now we need to eliminate either x or we need to eliminate either y. So if I eliminate y, I have to make the coefficients of y same on both, right? So here you can see that the coefficient is minus 8 and here the coefficient is d plus 3. So what key we can do is we can operate d plus 3 on the first equation and we can add 8 times the second equation. Right? This is how we can eliminate it. So the first equation becomes d minus 3 into d plus 3 x minus 8 times d plus 3 into y is equal to 0. And the second equation becomes, we'll multiply it with 8, 8x plus 8 into d plus 3y is equal to 0. Now, before we reduce this, let's see what is this. This is d squared minus 9. So, I can... Or we can do it in the next step when we add the two equations. So this gets cancelled and we get d square minus 9. 8 can also be taken within it and we can take out x common. So this is equal to 0. Or we get d square minus 1 into x is equal to 0. So you can see that we are getting one differential equation in terms of x. And now you can solve this. This is a second order differential equation, so it's a homogeneous equation, so your solution will only comprise of the complementary part. So your algebraic expression becomes m square minus 1 is equal to 0. So m is equal to plus minus 1. So what is x? x will be c1 e raised to power t plus c2 e raised to power minus t. 
right? This is the value of x. Now, how to obtain y? Out of first and second, which equation it is easy to calculate y? The first one, because y will be 1 by 8 times d minus 3x. So, y is 1 by 8 times d minus 3 multiplied upon x. So, this is 1 by 8 times d minus 3. X given to us is C1 e raised to power t plus C2 e raised to power minus b. So, let's operate this operator. So, let's open it up. Derivative of this term. So, it is C1 e raised to power t. This will become minus C2 e raised to power minus t. Then, you operate this. It will be minus 3 into C1 e raised to power t minus 3 into C2 e raised to power minus t. So now this is further equal to 1 by 8. C1 minus 3 C1 is minus 2 C1 e raised to power t. Minus C2 minus 3 C2 is minus 4 C2 e raised to power minus t. And when you take out 2 common, you can take out minus 2 common. So you will get a minus sign. 1 by 4 will come out. And we will have C1 e raised to power t plus 2 you have taken out common. So, you will get 2 C2 e raised to power minus t. So, this is the value of y. So, you can see that we have solved together to get the values of x and y by the elimination method. Right. Now, after solving for x and y, what else do we need to calculate? We are given some initial conditions. x at 0 is 6 and y at 0 is minus 2. That means we have to also calculate the values of these constants. How to calculate these constants? x at 0 is equal to 6. So let's take up the first equation. At t equal to 0, x is 6. So x is 6. Put t equal to 0. You will get c1 plus c2. So this is the first equation. And y at 0 is minus 2. So let us put this. So we get minus 2 is equal to minus 1 by 4 into Put t equal to 0, so you will get c1 plus 2 times c2. So you can see that minus sign gets cancelled. You can take here cross multiply. You will get 8 is equal to c1 plus 2 c2. So you have these two equations. So you can subtract the two equations. And when you subtract, you will get 6 minus 8 is equal to minus 2. c1 gets cancelled. And c2 minus 2 c2 is minus c2. So you will get c2 is equal to 2. So, if C2 is equal to 2, substitute here. So, you will get C1 is equal to 4. So, what are the final values of x? x becomes 4 into e raised to power t plus 2 times e raised to power minus t. Similarly, what is the value here for y? y is minus 1 by 4. C1 is 4 e raised to power t plus 2 times C2, so it will become 4 e raised to power minus t. 4 gets cancelled and you will get minus e raised to power t plus e raised to power minus t. So, this becomes your answer. Right? So, I hope you have understood this method. Right? So, I have given you some practice problems in the next slide. So, do try these problems and do let me know in the comment section whether you were able to solve it. Right? So, thank you for listening to the video. If you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. Thank you so much. Believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed.